You ready? Yeah. Thank you. Let's rock. Hello, everyone. My name is David Quinn, and I'm a co-founder of Corbinize. And our goal is to make cities better by um, building a more um, a web platform that enables more effective communication between real estate developers and community members. And is my microphone still there? Yes. <laughs> Um, so the way it works is that we host uh, information on our website around a project. Uh, if you live in the area, you can search and find out what's going on. And then you can learn about that project and then provide feedback directly to the developer. So our team came together around this idea when our CEO, Karen, who is an urban planner, identified that there could be more effective ways of engaging residents um, as part of the urban development project. So together with Daniel and David Zorg, who joined us recently, um, we're changing this overall engagement process, which is associated strongly with geospatial data. At the moment, the current process looks something like this. People come along to a meeting, someone presents information. But generally, it's hard to find out what's going on in your area, and it's hard to get information ahead of time with meetings. It's also hard to directly interface with the developer. So we host projects on, a, on our website, um, which looks like this. So you can search and find projects in your area. And then we provide all of the information associated with the project in the one place. So you can learn what the project is going to look like, um, where it is on the map, simple things like Street View. But then we also try and address the more technical issues that people have hard times conceptualizing, such as shadows, traffic, and parking. But for example, if a large project is going through public review, you end up with a hundreds of page PDF, which is something like this, which shows you the shadow studies at different times of the year around the proposed development. This is very deep in a very thick PDF, and it can be quite hard to understand. So instead, we provide something like this, which is an interactive web map, so you can look at this information and engage in it in your own time, and you don't have to go to a public meeting, at, which can sometimes be on inconvenient hours. Similarly, we provide information around traffic studies. So again, this is from the same technical report. This is a traffic study showing how the roads are changing based on the new development. It's fairly hard to understand, and you have 10 more pages that look like this. So it's quite hard, and this is being presented um, to neighborhood organizations and people who care about a project like this. Um, so we provide, again, a simple web map where you can interact, click in a road segment, and see how does this change if this, if this um, development goes ahead or not. We also provide a direct line of communication. So if you have the facts presented, you can then write a question or share your concerns directly with the project developers so they can interact with you and address these concerns more quickly and overall accelerate the cycle of feedback. As part of our service to real estate developers, we then provide insight into what people are saying. So we have an analytics platform that summarizes what they do uh, or what, what um, people who engage in the platform do so that they can also understand what the feeling in the community that they're constructing in is. This is an example of a pilot project that we did in the city of Boston, where they were gathering public feedback on the location of new hubway stations. So they were expanding to three new neighborhoods, and they were interested to know what people thought about where they wanted their bike stations. So we showed on a map these proposed areas. We also then had a timeline which listed where the, the various points were going to occur, like when they wanted public feedback, when the stations were going to be installed. And along the way, we kept people informed who signed up to our service. So we just sent them emails and told them when these changes were occurring. This is, uh, hundreds of people wrote comments. Uh, this is an example of the top couple of comments in Jamaica Plain, where people were saying these are things that they care about, and other people who viewed the comments then upvoted them. This is an example of the developer, in this case Boston Bikes, responding directly to the comment uh, and addressing the concern that the person is raising. So overall, trying to uh, accelerate the, the cycle of feedback, trying to make the geospatial information more accessible to people, and then finally showing where these stations are installed um, once the project is complete. We've built our overall platform using an open source stack. Um, so we use Postgres and PostGIS. When my next slide shows up, it'll show that. <laughs> um, using the GeoDjango web framework. And then typically our data is uh, returned from our backend in GeoJSON form and rendered using Leaflet. So it's all fairly lightweight and works on um, desktops or uh, large mobile devices. <laughs> Thank you very much.